Welcome back. Right now, Portland police officers do not have body cameras. It's an issue that's come up time and time again over the past decade. But the Department of Justice is weighing in on the issue now. And one city commissioner now says it looks like body cams could get funding this year. Our news partners at Willamette Week broke that story. We're joined now by Tess Risky, who investigated the piece. Tess, thank you for being on the program. Thanks for having me. We've been talking about body cams in Portland for about 10 years now with not any resolution whatsoever with the DOJ now stepping in. What's changed here? So um, since 2014, the city of Portland has entered into a settlement agreement with the Department of Justice uh, related to use of force against people with mental illness. Um, so earlier this year, the city was found to be out of compliance with that settlement agreement. Um, so the parties are in mediation right now to figure out how to remedy uh, that issue. And so one of the remedies that's been proposed is to implement body cameras for PPB officers. So now you have, um, you know, the Department of Justice effectively stepping in and saying, hey, we also think body cameras would be an important tool for Portland police officers to have. We know Commissioner Joanne Hurstey has opposed body cams in the past. Do we know what changed her mind on this issue? My understanding is that it has to do with um, the advancements in body camera technology, um, as well as being able now to draw on best practices from other police departments about body cameras, since there's a lot of little details in body camera policy that can kind of, you know, become the sticking points. So my understanding is Commissioner Hardesty is more on board now because we can draw on best practices that have been developed over the last few years. There's still some sticking points in this over when we talk about all the negotiations taking place, like whether officers will be allowed to pre-review the footage, right? Yeah, so pre-review is one of those sort of uh, hot topics with body cameras. And what that means is that an officer would be allowed to review their body camera footage before writing a police report, uh, for example. Um, so some critics say that that would give police the ability to kind of retroactively justify their actions. Uh, but advocates of pre-review say, you know, it just helps police paint the most accurate picture possible of what happened when they're writing police reports. So there's a lot of tension about how that exactly should be worked out policy-wise. We know that body cams aren't cheap, particularly the hard drives that are needed to store the footage. Do we know yet where the funding is going to come from, a test on this, and how much they're going to cost? So the mayor's office says their estimate right now is $2.6 million for the purchase of body cameras. Um, and that doesn't include the implementation costs necessarily. Uh, but that's still kind of a rough estimate. Um, and this could be voted on by the end of the year by city council. Um, they have the fall budget monitoring process coming up soon where that could uh, take place. So we have a rough estimate of the cost and the potential estimate of the time frame for approving that, but that's about as much as we know at this point. All right, Tess Risky, thank you for that report. We appreciate it thank very you. much.